And Phil and I are both. We're trying to get fully extended out. And we were looking at 85, but again, like Fulmeyer last night, he, you know, really wasn't in much trouble, and we were going to try to, you know, take him as far as we could. Started to, you know, get a little tired there at the end with the two walks, but uh, what a game he pitched. I mean, was on the attack, had three pitches going, his fastball, his curveball, and his changeup. Uh, you know, put him in good locations and very few mistakes and just pitched on the attack all night long. This has been a good starting pitching <laughs> since the All-Star break, really. Every single night you've had every night. good performance. Um, Willie Peralta, four to five games. I mean, has, has he ever done that in his career before? Is he? No, I, I, I don't know. Um, probably not. I mean, that's quite a, quite a big workload. But, you know, the job that uh, Kevin McCarthy did today, too, was spectacular to come in and kind of you know, put that little fire out, even though there was nobody on base. They had some of the big momentum switch with the, with the Martinez home run and you know, came in and, um, you know, boom, boom in the seventh and then get us through the eighth inning in the fashion that he did was huge. Um, yeah, you mentioned maybe about a month ago that you thought Birch was better suited to be a starter. Uh, why, why do you think that is? You have more of a uh, starter's mentality. Which is... Which means he's better off pitching every five days instead of not knowing if he's going to pitch tonight. It takes him a long. It takes when when he was in the bullpen. It took his routine was a starter's routine. So we'd have to call down a half an inning before to tell him you know get ready and stuff. He just got the starter's mentality and a starter his whole career. Uh, the three pitches today obviously all were fantastic. Was any one of those stood out more than the other? For, for no. Okay. They were all good. Oh, really good. What do you end up giving up? One hit, two one, walks. One hit, two, one hit, two walks, and the two walks came right at the end. I mean, just a, I mean, just a tremendous performance. And the offense continues to grind away and get really, really good. Yeah, I feel like our offense, especially since the All Star break, um, has really started to turn the corner big time for us. And um, you know, Salvi with three hits tonight. Uh, you know, it was big. The home run was big. Tack on another run there, and uh, offense is doing good. With Sal, it kind of started a little bit before the break, but have, have you picked up anything different in his at-bats? Or I just think he's a little more, right now, he's a little more um, selective. Uh, you know, in his at-bats, he's not free-swinging as much. He's seeing the ball good right now, and that's, you know, when you're when you're in a slump, you're not seeing the ball good, and you're swinging at a lot of pitches outside the zone, even though Salvi's a phenomenal bad ball hitter. And uh, um, But he's seeing the ball really, really well right now. Moose uh, joins a small company of Royals, hit 20 home runs in four seasons, um, 38 last year. Was he one of those guys, because out of high school, he had a California record, I think, in home runs, but where his power just kind of developed late, he's become the guy that's 30 home run plus guy in this league? Yeah, I think so. You know, he, he's always had tremendous power, but you know, at the big league level, it's, uh, you know, you've got to learn how to develop that power and how to use that power. and. And um, you know how to how to formulate game plans and sit on pitches, and then you know when you get them, not miss them. And uh, you know he's to, he's to watch him develop over the years to become the hitter that he is today has been a lot of fun. Uh, but he's really, uh, you know, he's he's uh, putting together another solid year. Does it mean anything more to you when a guy like Bert Smith gives basically five years between picking up wins, just kind of the grind going through Tommy John? I mean. The perseverance it takes no I mean the game. no the win's important you know the win's big but f for him to uh you know come out and get it, it's big for him too and then you know that's part of it you know um uh, and I think when I went home last night I was more disappointed that Philmar didn't get his first win because I know how hard he worked for it I know why he's been here his whole life waiting to get that win and it was right there and he didn't get it um so you know their 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 success uh you know is important to me too Thank <laughs> you.